What's up, everyone? Happy Tuesday. We got a treat for you tonight. Um, the ride's gonna happen a little bit later. We had a busy day today. And uh, we ended up at a networking event with my good friend, Jessica Dennehy, over there. Yeah. Pivot and Slay Girl. And uh, right there, Jessica, there she is. Uh, those of you who know, she's uh, my sister from another mother. And uh, Apex. I believe that's sister from another mister. Sister from another mister, well, I'll be working. And we're here with uh, some of my family of choice over here. We got uh, Todd Freeman over here. We got Greg Michael over man? here. This guy. Got Lisa Durand over there. How we got doing? How you doing? Andrew over there. We got Eva Rudy over here. And we got the one and only Betty Montalbano. What's going on? Montalbano. Hey, say my name right. Montalbano. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got to give you the message of the day. Um, and today we want to talk about the power of your network. You are who you surround yourself with. Um, if you surround yourself with awesome people that are successful, that are driven, that uh, don't make excuses, that uh, live their life to the fullest, um, you tend to gravitate towards them and you tend to become uh, the same as your surroundings. So if you're around a bunch of people that complain all the time, that are very negative, you're going to become negative, you're going to complain all the time. If you're among a bunch of people that are positive, that are winning in life, that are encouraging each other, um, you're just going to win. So I surround myself with these people here, Jessica over there, uh, a bunch of other people group, David Gusson's over here somewhere, Mr. 516 adds himself, Chef Eric is over there, he just got up and fought. Uh, awesome, awesome dude. We're at 317 Main in Farmingdale. Uh, if you haven't been here yet, come check it out. The food is amazing. Um, Chef Eric, chef owner, um, right here at Main Street in Farmingdale. Um, great food, great venue. If you need a venue for your events, there's a stage back here. You get this big party room here. Um, definitely check them out. We'll see Chef Eric. Tell him I sent you. 317 Main Farmingdale. So, the message today is you are who you surround yourself with. So make sure you're surrounding yourself with the right people. If you're not where you want to be in life, you need to step up and, uh, and move yourself to the next level of people. Um, don't surround yourself with negative people because they'll make you negative. Surround yourself with positive people. Surround yourself with giving people. And um, yeah, that'll, that'll make your life better. All right, so uh, I'm going to pass the phone around. Everyone's going to give a little inspiration here. So uh, we get a little treat tonight. All right, Todd. What? What's your inspiration here? What is my inspiration? I'll tell you what my inspiration is. These magnificent people that I choose to surround myself with. Don, Don, get in there. Yeah. That's what I would have to say. Um, I don't, I kind of heard a little bit about what Brian was just talking about, but really what it comes down to is there's power in proximity. And the people who you surround yourself with are essentially going to dictate a lot of what you do. Yep. Hold on, hold on. Plug in, let's go. You find a hole because you're not like me. There we go. There we go. So Long story short, short story long. Surround yourself with people who are trying short to do big things. Not something like that. <laughs> Greg, say something to people. Pass it down. I don't even know what platform are you on. Oh, there's one person watching. How you doing, one person? Um, how you doing? I, mean, I just love getting together with my people. That's what it comes down to. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? My boy Benny, how you doing? It don't matter, hey. you know, the Cabo Gold. <laughs> Nah, we're just out here having a good time, man. It's always a blessing to get your people together. You know, one, time, one of the things well, that we like all talk about in these groups is, is, you know is, is putting people in the same <laughs> you know rooms, enjoy some time together. You? We always talk about business. Hey, we always talk about stuff. things that do move the needle, but what moves the needle, needle more than being around your people, people you love, people you care about. So, yeah, we're here, man. Long Island style, New York style, bring my Italian, even though I'm not Italian. Everybody keeps telling me I'm Italian. I sound Italian. I don't know what. I don't even know what sounding Italian means. I don't really understand. Italians are Jews. Very similar. Jewish guys hang out together. Always. See, Benny. Benny gets upset. He's got. But Benny don't understand. The Jews and the Italians. We're like. We're like brothers. We're like sisters. Same corporation. Different division. You know. There's a difference. 
with the religion. Don't worry about the, the religion. Food. Don't worry about. Don't yeah. worry about the Jesus Cristo and, the, and Hashem and all that. Don't worry about all that. None of that matters. The truth is, it's all about coming together. We love feeding each other. Our parents fed us till we were so full that we had to undo our belts and unzip our zippers, undo our buttons. Dude, I That's not true. It doesn't matter if you had a Jewish you, mother or a Todd. Todd's a funny guy. I have a funny um, guy, but let's start everything. Todd likes to take his pants off in front of other men. I don't really understand it, but it's all good. It must be a Jewish thing. <laughs> But nah, real talk, man. We just love getting together, you know. And Brian loves his lives. Everybody who knows Brian loves his lives. So when I get a, when I'm have the honor of stepping on a Brian's live, like I'm looking for a bicycle. Like I'm just looking for a bicycle. I don't know where the bicycle's at. I'm looking for. There's no bicycle here. He drove. As far as I know, he drove all the way out here to Farmdale. So good. I appreciate all you guys. Now there's three people on. Brian, there's three people on. I'm gonna give you back to it. Let's go. What's your name? I'm sorry, I never got see. I never got her name. No, me and Lisa are gonna go together. Lisa, Lisa, say something to the people. Come on, tell people what's up. Let's go, Lisa. What's up, everybody? Oh my God, this chair, I'm gonna fall. I know. It's not because I'm heavy. It's just the chair. I know. I I changed the chair. Oh, that's why you. Someone, someone's gonna fall. Alright, so we're, we're on we're on Brian's live tonight. So what are we gonna do to embarrass Brian? We're actually not gonna do anything to embarrass Brian. I'm happy to see Brian tonight. I'm inspired by Brian tonight because he's here tonight. And he even got called out. Yeah, so that's a good thing. So he even got a he got called out on stage for his HVAC company. But nobody says anything about Benny and his painting company. <laughs> Be a lead, be a lead. <laughs> so, we got two wild, two people viewing. You have anything to say? I'm just happy to be here. I'm glad to be here with a lot of Malvern people. Malvern's in the house. So I'm super excited. I'm glad that Brian brought me in on this great opportunity. So, Absolutely. So, once a month, every month, is going to be an event. There's going to be live speakers. There's going to be motivational speakers, there's going to be big speakers, there's going to be great food. Come through, you're going to enjoy it. Definitely great food. Over to you, Joy. Alright, Amon, Amon, you're going to talk. I'm sorry, Amon. Alright, so before Amon talks, I just want to mention Jessica Zanahan is absolutely, without a doubt, one of the best motivational people. Business wise, you want to do. So, if you, that's her right over there. Right there, there she is with the pink hair. If you, if you need somebody to motivate you and coach you, 100%, 100% come to one of these events. She is, she's going to elevate you on so many levels because she is just beyond amazing. And then that man right over there, who's my brother from another mother. Join EXP, join his team, because he's amazing, and I'm his doctor sister, without a doubt. Yes, I am. My wife. So, Mom's going to say something right now. Go ahead. How's everybody? Um, Yeti Lee, lead singer of Rush, once said, all the world's a stage. You're either a performer or a portrayer. Before that, it was William Shakespeare. This environment is a reflection of performers. There's no portrayers here. All right? Thank you for your time. Here's Brian. All right, everyone. Hope you got some inspiration from uh, the crew there. We're here with a great bunch of people here. A uh, bunch of my real estate team is here. Yeah, mom's down here. Say hi to mom. Listen, you gotta do prayers tonight. What? You gotta do prayers tonight. Hi, mom. It's not bad. Right. We're doing prayers. We're gonna do prayers. Oh, no, I think right. we gotta do prayers. Prayer. 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 All right, we're gonna do prayers. Ready? All right, ready? Oh, All right. this mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. What's on there again? All right, ready? All Father. One heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. 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 Glory be to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. 
Father. Amen. Dear God, thank you for the blessings of all our friends, all the inspiration in our lives, all the networking that uh, comes to our plate, uh, all the opportunities that you provide for us, and um, thank you for all the blessings. Amen. And if I haven't said this out loud, Mom and Dad, Lewis, <laughs> thank you for this man. <laughs> thank you for giving birth to him because I truly adore him and I love him and he's a blessing in my life. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right, everyone. So you got the message. You got an extended message today. You got a couple uh, different inputs on the world, uh, on the world vision right there for us. Um, you are who you surround yourself with. So be intentional of who, uh, what room you're putting yourself in. Um, you put yourself with inspirational people, um, people that um, that you know, love, and trust. Uh, they're going to help you grow. They're going to help you become a better person. If you put yourself in a room with a bunch of negative people that are complaining all the time, uh, you're going to wind up being a negative and complaining all the time. You really are a product of your environment. So be careful about who you're uh, surrounding yourself with. It's really important for your future. Hi, everyone. I appreciate you. The ride will go on tonight. I will post it on here uh, so you know I did it. We are uh, just about done with the journey. Um, about 35 days left. And uh, it's been awesome. And I thank you guys for all your support. Hope I'm uh, giving some inspiration in your life. Fire starts fire. Put your hand in the pillow every night. Knowing you made the world a better place. Let's change the world together. God bless. Have a great night.